thousands of ghost stories, tales of suffering, loss, and rejection. Into a few intrude the living. Nobody to shoot. There's you. Exactly. I mean a bunch of shadows. Hey, keep the gun away. So what is this place? Read the sign. Yeah, what I meant was... What I meant was, what are we... I know what you meant. She likes me. No doubt about it, she likes me. Mont say hi? <laughs> Two years ago. The Detroit school murders made the Nationals. You probably didn't get it in the Kalamazoo Gazette. Night of a school play here. Some Professor Brooke murders ten students and then scoots. Wow. Was there an arrest? No. He vanished. No weapon ever found. No motive. All investigation ran dry six months in. Cause of death? Never established. Autopsies drew a blank. Not a mark on any of the bodies. Yeah. Oh, they say it was a weird scene to walk into that night. Detroit PD took quite a mulling over it, so we respond to every crank call. The gun solved like this sure draws the freaks out of the woodwork. Makes even your average Joe skittish. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> so we've had a call? Calls. Demolition crew with overactive imaginations. Hearing voices, scared of their own reflections. Anyway, let's just get it over with. I'll do the top floors, you do the basement. Cursory check, meet back here in 30. Got it. Oh, hey. Hey, this better not be scare the little old country boy night. Okay, I bet you got a welcoming committee, guys from Division down in the basement wearing Halloween masks, a body fresh off the slab swinging from the rafters. <laughs> you think you're worth that kind of effort? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I look like a prankster? Go to work. 30. Okay, 30 it is, partner. I look like a prankster. <laughs> First time I get stuck in one of Charlie's Angels. Gene Bond.
All systems offline running at 0%. All communication will terminate in T-5. Initiate backup power. Urgent. Initiate backup power. count to five, and then... Concur candidates enumerating strategy. Time is of the essence. Please listen. Your hunting must begin as soon as possible. One. In brief, your weapons are useless. You cannot kill that which does not live. However, you can contain the spirit. Two. Your weapon has two functions. Firstly, it will anchor the spirit into the realm of the living, allowing you to weaken Three. And second. Four. The grenade will capture a weakened ghost, trapping it in the array. Five. Recognized. Nine millimeter firearm. Recognized. Threatening stance towards a digital entity, an ally. Irrational response. Candidate functioning with excessive nervous energy. Four. This nervous energy now justified. Strategy. Hunt this ghost. What was that?
Well, well. An unexpected pleasure. I owe my freedom to beauty. <sighs> what are you? Where are you? I am here. As close as you could wish. Don't. I, I can't see it. You will only see the realm of the dead when I am part of you. Please, don't. Precisely why did you release me? I didn't. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Just... Just don't hurt me. I'm... Why? Why would I hurt the one who freed me? I am a genie. A genie that's been trapped too long inside a rancid bottle. An unnatural incarceration. A chance for fury to fester. Do not struggle. All I am doing is thanking you. I can grant you every little sordid wish. As long as you give me one thing. What thing? I want flesh. Candidate Supernormal sight the result of astral form fused with Candidate. Astral form can be summoned from within wherever Candidate finds a spectral rift. Beneficial strategy on occasion. However, I recommend that all due caution should be taken naturally. If my message should end, it means that the power has come to an end and all things will shut off automatically. Astral form? What are you talking about? You've just come up from inside me. You're a ghost? Look, I'm sorry, I just don't understand. But you can't hear me, right? Okay, well... Hi! Well, look, it's not exactly easy knowing what to say, but you know, it's, uh... Well, it's been good to have you aboard. Fine, you go ahead and laugh, Astro. Just remember, I never exactly invited you inside me, okay? That was your thing, not mine. So anyway, feel free to just stay out and about, okay? I mean, people need their space, don't they? What? I don't understand. Jesus, don't just point at him. How was I supposed to know? Lazarus Jones, Detroit PD, Homicide. And you are? Information irrelevant. Okay, so much for the small talk. Civility, not a core objective. Accessing retort. I am digital. Get over it. Conversely, I severely regret all incoherence on my part in deletion of internal memory. 
consequences of insufficient power. As to my primary functions, I am both guardian and guide. Guardian and guide of what? Guardian of the array, guide to ghost hunters. The array? The array. It functions both as a prison for the creatures you capture and an energy source for many of my advanced functions. You may study the ghost through the viewing panel provided. Whoa, easy, Chief. You expect me to believe all this junk is powered by some kind of, uh, spooky electricity? What you believe is of no consequence to me. What you do is all that matters, and what you have already done. What I've done is go on a routine patrol, get trapped in an abandoned school, and see my partner get snatched, okay? Is that all? Uh-huh. Apart from a bunch of Twilight Zone crap. No. What you have done, Officer Jones, is foolishly empty the array, set loose a force of ghosts to roam free and wreak havoc as before. One spirit has fused with your corporal form, gifting you with sight beyond the living. Consequently, you can redress the chaos you have created. Your duty is to hunt down the ghosts. No, 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 pal. My duty is to find my partner. At last, a functioning. Officer Jones! Ah, the woman's steel will only be returned when all the creatures are sick. You have fought already. No doubt you acknowledge the strength opposing you. Some scar-faced worm boy. He is only part of what you are up against, and was torn from the array by your own hand, Officer Jones, but you are proving to be a most promising candidate. The creatures you have captured are already strengthening us. Over here, the spectral gateways. Your endeavors have activated one. I suggest you proceed through and continue your quest. Take this weapon and protective clothing. They will prove beneficial in the challenges ahead. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Goddamn head in the box! I am guide to ghost hunters. Who am I to tell Officer Jones what to do? Valid. Only the professor has the answers. Professor? Um, wait, wait up. The murderer? Professor Brook? Murderer? Reference unrecognized. Professor Brook, my creator, has the answers. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So where is the professor? No information. Could he be through here? A high probability. Right. But this gate will definitely take me to steel. Affirmative. Proceed now, please. Time is of the essence. Don't take another step, please, Mr. Fancy Bridges. Okay, you just keep calm, ma'am. I'm a police officer. A police officer? You're human. How did you get here? And what are you doing snooping around my house? I'll use this gun to defend my virtue, young stranger. Make no mistake about it. Calm down. You don't need your gun. Why I'm here is... Well, it's a long story, ma'am, but basically, I was... Skip it then, Hanson. Listen. You have to help me. They're coming for the children. You have to do something. Let's just start from the beginning, can we? Okay, nice and calm. Who exactly? The spirits! Who do you think? They'll be here any minute. Normally my son can deal with them, but he's been called away. Will you help us? I can see you're a sensitive young man. Okay, I'll, I'll go take a look around. You stay here, please, ma'am. Uh, I could maybe use some backup out here. Do you have a phone I could use? A phone? They'll be here any minute. Back up indeed. Comes in here tramping dirt all over a dignified lady's floor. Phone's in the hallway. No charge.
look much, does he? He's nothing but a scrawny little city boy. Damn, damn me, Pa. Let me have him, Pa. Please. Throw it, Junior. Pa's trying to think. It's your Pa. Ain't that right, Pa? You're trying to think. Shut up, both of you. No, oh, it ain't fair. I was never gonna have no fun. Tell him, Pa. It must be my turn now. It's my turn, Junior. You had a brain in that fat head of yours, you'd remember that there fact of matter. A pair of you big wet and jack aces just keep quiet. Look, he's coming right. Well, how do you, Slicker? You brown us a marrow, Jack, no mistake about that. It's what you doing at the edge of the civilized world. Consorting with that there Dimon Fort Hag. Look, I don't know who or what you people are. All I know is you're in a lot of trouble. Been accused of attempted kidnapping. You've just assaulted a police officer, and if you don't release me right away, I'll be happy to add holding a hostage to the list. A long man, huh? Well, that just about seals it. No way we're letting you go now. The law's never done us folks any favors. I'll take that right there off your hands. Dainty little pink girly hands, that they are. <laughs> <laughs> Supper for the crawfish, that's all you are now, boy. Wait a minute, will you guys just wait? Time to get what's coming to you. Okay, Billy Boy, let's pause. Step aside. Junior, he's all yours. Oh, get all the fun. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> The professor's girl. Where'd you spring from, Tinkerbell? Is the professor here? Well, if the professor ain't here, who you with then? You ain't nothing to do with that city lawman, are you? <laughs> well, seems like we all been led a real merry hold down by that witch. I did wonder about Slicker Second Sight. Just didn't wonder for long enough, huh, Tinkerbell? Junior, you better not be a goner. Bring him here. Oh, Pa. I feel tired, I couldn't even poo. Just bring it! <laughs> well, boy, seems like we had you all wrong. I don't know how you got into this, and I don't know how you got us back into this. But if you're here with the professor's girl, you must be fighting with the good guys. Professor's girl? Wait a minute, you've met the professor? Proud to say I have. Mighty fine fella. Saved us from that witch and her son. Showed us how we could see what we's up against. <laughs> of course, he did most of the tussling himself. With the help of Tinkerbell here, of course. The professor's little marvel. Yeah, she's one of those rare helpful ghosts. She ain't no ghost, boy. Her body's somewhere. And though it ain't rightly alive, it sure as hell ain't dead. No, sir. Now, the professor said he's looking for a way to fix her up somehow. Ain't that right, Tinkerbell? Anyway, no time for jabbering, Slicker. You need to step into the professor's shoes and help us out. You just tried to murder me. Sound a good friendship around these parts. Listen, boy, that Demon Ford woman, she's got our little girl prisoner up there. We sure as hell want her back. And what I need is to find the professor. So where is he? Well, that's just it. He headed back to Demon Ford's, and after that, we never saw him again. Now, mind you, that witch and her son have been nice and quiet ever since. Until a few days ago. <laughs> That's right, Tinkerbell. At least you know when it's time for action. Now then, boys, you can ride along shotgun. Give this here fella a... Uh... Sorry, Slicker. Looks like you're on your own. Can't give you much advice, neither. But I can give you these. Along to the professor. Might be some help. Now, you get yourself up to that darn house and rescue our little girl. We're counting on you. Your dreams unlocks my death, the date I took my final breath. Put the gun down and step back! They've stolen all I ever had. Don't like losing their own precious things, though. Oh, no. Always trying to run away, aren't you, little tree girl? 
born to misbehave. They're filthy, more like animals. Hardly fit to live. Final warning! Gun down now! Never thought I'd see our precious girl again. She's a brave girl. The Montfort won't be troubling you anymore. Well, good riddance. Now, uh, Slicker, bad our little misunderstanding up river. Hope you're happy to leave bygones as bygones and shake hands in her. I'm afraid it's my job to arrest every single one of them. Who's gonna believe the police report? So, I guess that leaves you in the clear. There is one thing, though. Time to go. Good luck, boy. I hope you find a professor. <laughs> Scrawny little city boy with hands like a messy luxury's on the floor. <laughs> you ain't no son of mine, Junior. You sure ain't no son of mine. you said was through that gateway, remember? Ah, yes. Still within the school boundaries, actually. What? Has been all along. A necessary subterfuge on my part, I'm afraid. You mean I just waded through half a mile of shit for nothing? 2.5 miles, to be precise, but certainly not for nothing. You have captured some excellent specimens, not least your final quarry, the Swamp Phantom. A momentous source of energy has enhanced my functioning substantially. Note that each destination will have one such formidable creature at its heart, each of them unleashed by yourself, Officer Jones. This professor sure did program you to nag, didn't he? I mean, he could have taught you to smile or sing country and western, but <laughs> oh no. No, just to nag on and on about one single mistake a man made. Your success has allowed me to generate additional weaponry for your use. Take these. <sighs> Gimme those. As for knowledge, you have gathered certain pages of the professor's diary. The remainder of those memoirs contain the full answers you are seeking. Incurable memory now sufficiently restored to access through the knowledge of Astro. Human form. Name, Kate Allen. Occupation, assistant to the professor. She played a critical role in his success. And she's still alive. Sort of. Affirmative. You know where? Negative. Well, anyway, let's get going. Where's Steel? In the new school building. You should now have sufficient firepower to enter. You're sure she's in there? Affirmative. No more necessary subterfuges. That I guarantee. Of course, such a guarantee could in itself represent a necessary subterfuge, and therefore represent little in the way of guarantee. I can't open! 
open them. Try and find another way, Steel. I'm trying! Where's... Look out. Watch out, he's there! Smart ass, but he's got steel in there. And this is called natural human behavior. It is called wasting valuable time. Fine. So is there another way in? Negative. Oh, you said it. An impasse. Recommend you continue exploring the school. We need more power. Can you hear me back there? You getting all these guys in that ghost prison of yours? Most certainly. Exemplary ghost hunting, Officer Jones. Thanks. It's just that, uh... I don't know, man. I get the feeling I'm mowing down the good guys. You are under fire, Officer Jones. What choice do you have? This is a totally valid part of your mission. Presumably. But your scruples are inappropriate. These are ghosts. Unlike your encounters in the swamps, these soldiers are not alive. <laughs> What the hell is going on? Got a Yankee in the tank. Well, blame his sideways. Uncle Sam said he more so, is it? Hey, can it? I got the gun and it's pointed at your neck. You just tell me where I am and who the hell you are. Yes, yes, just a moment. Cold. Colder. Left. That's it. Warm. Warm. Hot. Yes. Jolly and sure. Colonel Freddy Fortescue, 3rd Regiment of Royal Horse Artillery, at your service. Well, Colonel, just what exactly are you doing here, playing soldiers in this jumped-up bathtub? Why, I'm haunting you, of course. Mission is to protect His Majesty's gold, sir. Gold? Why, yes. HMS Victoria, commandeered liner, ferrying troops and supplies. The spoils of war, don't you know? Sunk in 45. Been battling for the gold ever since. But you're dead. Pish and baloney. The Fortescue family have been fighting mad on boy for old Blighty for over a thousand years. And we've never let a little thing like death get in the way of a good scrap. Why, there's a Fortescue on every battlefield of the civilized world. Agincourt, dead. Waterloo, dead. Dunkirk, dead. All right, all right, I get the point. But who are you fighting against? Who, sir? What, sir, if you don't mind? The beast, plaguing the ship. Haven't you seen it? My did start off as a chap, I suppose. I don't understand. All in my dispatches, all in my dispatches. No time for that now. Use the wireless of all things, recording cylinders. Just the job. You'll hear the whole damn yarn. This beast you happen to be a ghost, too. I nod my head for such a damn big And I guess it's the reason I'm here. Turned out our cargo had more to it than met the eye. Was under the strictest orders to keep safe and keep secret. A certain gold statue our chaps had won back from the Nazis. The dagger of Poseidon, worth a king's ransom, apparently, but infamous too. Surrounded by a lot of spiritual mumbo jumbo. That godforsaken sea dog, Captain Crap, was furious when he knew it was a war. Never take the dagger of Poseidon to sea, Captain by Lord. But now I know what I know, and here we all are. Ghosts. We can do with a chap like you. Had a yank alongside once before. Jolly good egg. Really? All in my dispatches. Now then, by the looks of Alpha and Delta team, you haven't exactly been helpful to the cause. I'm sorry, I, uh, I think I put a few of them out of action. Chill up, soldier. They've gone to a better place. Uh, maybe. It's over. Well, I'll call my men off pronto. Nothing worse than friendly fire. As Nanny used to say, don't bash Bernie, he's your brother. Ah, here's the plan. Going to dynamite the enemy. Fool I scheme and desperate times and all that. The beast down in the end. <laughs> oh, now a good 
soldier adapts to the situation and never gets caught out twice. So you could just... Day 22,001. Stow away your deck kites, we're in war again. The beast is back. Lord alone knows. Jones! Excellent, you made it! Jolly good show! Now then, here's the jam we're in. Got to get through that blasted door. Stay back for the captain. Get back or I'll shoot. Don't shoot, man. Chap's on our side, you damn fool. He's just rescued me. Oh, right, sir. Very good, sir. Now, stand easy, you three, while I hatch a plan. On the same side, then, eh? Oh, dear. Oh, no, no, no. Can't fight with you. Don't know what I call you. Smudger. It could be Smudger. Smudger? Yeah, only we lost our last Smudger, see? Cooked it the other day. Um, any of these any good? Uh, we've lost a Ginger, Pongo, Chalky White, Sponge, Titch. Two Titches. Uh, yeah, yeah, we lost two Titches. And a lovely lad, Tease Up. Always had a problem. Made a smashing brew, Tease Up. Listen, my name's Lazarus Jones. Call me that. Okay, you men. Fall in. Uh, Jacko? Jug ears or Jock? None of them do you? Okay, gather on, you men. The only explosives we've got are with my body, wherever that is. Need a volunteer? Well done, Jones. Good egg. I want you to go out on reconnaissance, find my body, free it, and then we can blast that door to smithereens. Agreed? Good. And you two chaps can stay here and keep me guarded. Okay? Fall out. Taff. He can be Taffy. Said his name was Jones, didn't he? Taffy, he said. Fits him like a glove. Ha! <laughs> Nice one, Dobby. There you are, Jones. That's the chap we've been battling against. Nasty blighter, eh? Now, we've used up the dynamite, but I've got a plan. You're not the only one. If you can disturb the brute, you may be able to snatch back the dagger of Poseidon. With that to lure him, you can lead him anywhere. The ball where I want the blackguard got the perfect trap with him. So just head there with a statue and he's sure to follow. I'm off to set up the trap. I'll be in radio contact. feel like much of a trap to me. Why do you 
kick your heels around here anymore. Chance to meet all the Fordus you ancestors. If you don't mind giving us the old heave ho, Jones. That's an order, sir. Whatever. Then, attention! Go on, Teff. Let us off this shit for God's sake. Actually, one last thing. <laughs> Save your energy, pal. I'm on a roll. Check out that array. Catch you later. Almost time. Is everything prepared? Oh, yeah. Prepared. As it should be. Everything must go according to plan. Oh, yeah. We are prepared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very well. They say good conversation is a dying art. Okay, time out. I think we're safe. <laughs> You think we're safe? Yeah, well, it's all relative, and, uh, you need a rest, old-timer. Listen, I need to ask you some questions. I'm the one with the questions, like, um, who said my job was up for grabs? Well, it seemed like there was a position that needed filling. In fact, as I recall, your little digital invention was holding the interviews. Design fault, I'll look into it. Or, maybe he was right. Keep your job, I'm just a cop. So act like I'm one and answer my questions. Listen, I've been risking my ass to try to find you, Professor. I'm also searching for my partner. Officer by the name of Anna Steele. Have you seen her? Never seen her. Never heard the name. Next question. Have you been on this island for the last two and a half years? <laughs> you know why this prison is important? Have you ever crossed the path of a creature called Hawksmoor? Worm boy? Oh yeah, don't worry, I'm coming to him. He was searching for me, and I'd gladly never have been found. The thing we've just recaptured is what brought me here. Needed hunting, and I did the job. Unfortunately, the evil Hawksmoor is what you had turned an ordinary guy like Frank Aglin into a mass murderer and sent him to the chair. By putting him in the array, I foolishly let Hawksmoor trace me to the school. And the visit he paid you turned into the Detroit school murders. These past two years haven't been easy, I can tell you that. Speaking of being careless, you left behind a bunch of ghosts trapped in your lab, just waiting to be set free by some unsuspecting... Idiot? Yeah. And guess what? They did get free. So I've noticed. Along with some semi-transparent honey who's currently nesting in my head. The spirit form of my assistant, Miss Heller. If you knew about Miss Heller and her work, you'd speak about her astral form with rather more respect. Oh, don't you worry, sir. Your Miss Heller is right there on my list of missing persons. What was that? Bit jumpy, aren't you? So anyway, you're trying to help Kate Heller back to life, is that right? I, I was. Hawksmoor has her physical body and now he wants the rest. Why? I have no idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait up. You're saying Hawksmoor is after Astral? Look, I don't know. Don't ask me to speculate on what's going on in that foul mind. Anyway, we need to get back to the lab if we're to stand any chance of stopping him. Where is Hawksmoor? You know how we can defeat him? We? <laughs> well? You know, Professor, I'd heard so much about you. You remember the swamps, those guys there? Or Colonel Fortescue? You sounded like a real hero. Life's full of disappointments. Imagine how I feel. I'm a scientist, and I'm replaced by a 
police academy accident waiting to happen. Yeah, I think maybe I'll scout for a while. You stay here, please, Professor. I won't be long. I told you to wait. Well, I thought we'd be better off together. Uh-huh. I'd like to apologize for what I said back there. You finished feeling sorry for yourself? I guess we're in this together, Lazarus. Asthma comatanda. What? Uh, sorry. Um, poltergeists. Noisy spirits. Here. Whoa! Bit jumpy, aren't you? Try them now. Cool. About four days too late, but... Cool. Seems quiet. Hmm. Uh, are you gonna say it or am I? <laughs> too quiet. You were saying, Lazarus? This doesn't look good. No. I mean, I'm all for recycling, but, uh, yeah. Any ideas? No. Not even a name like, uh, Maximus Heapus of Jumpers? No. You don't say much when you're nervous, do you? Because I, I'm quite the opposite. I talk. Did you notice that? Yes. You want me to deal with this one? No, no. Don't worry. I'm on a roll. Use the goggles. Try to stay alive. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down. That's a good tip. There, there should be a, a, a path down through these, <coughs> down through these rocks somewhere. Okay, stick close. I think we've seen the last. Oh shit! Uh, I have an idea. Hold them off as long as you can. Hey, wait! Damn. Admit it. You're impressed. Can we just go? Well, this is the way to the teleport gate? If you mean the spectral transference gateway, yes. Fine. There's still a lot I want you to fill me in on. Likewise, Lazarus. Likewise. You know, where we're heading, it's going to be kind of weird seeing you next to Mr. Computerhead. Oh, yes. Quite. And there's a librarian who is going to skin you alive. Big fines, man. You mistreated her books. Uh-huh. I was a monitor. Professor? Hmm. You ready? You're not sure about us going? Memory fully restored now? Indeed, Professor Richard. Will you remind the Keystone Copter why we're going? There is evil in the world that cannot be seen, and someone must defeat it. You got him well trained, but if you'd have stopped staring at your boots, you'd have noticed I'm ready. Oh. Ready. So, this is the final gateway out there. Mm -hmm. You know what we're gonna find through here? Since it's our last hope, I'm counting on this finding Kate Heller. And Steve? She's gotta be somewhere. Lazarus, I wanna warn you, this isn't like the others. It's not a place I just visited, went on a ghost hunt, and came back with some trophies. It's where I worked for years. I had to leave in quite a hurry. I'm not ashamed to admit it because what I did was probably the toughest choice of all, but speaking frankly, I fled. Now, there was a girl next door when I was 17. I'd be doing exactly the same thing. Never go back. Well, I'm going back. You coming? Yeah, since you advertise it so well. Trust me, I'm the one who's taking the risk. Don't worry, Professor. I trust you.
You couldn't have worked in Hawaii selling cocktails on the beach. Which particular planet are we orbiting? We're in the heart of Arizona, Lazarus, if you're getting homesick. Not that you recognize the location. It would take a million years for someone unauthorized just to stumble onto this place. You work for the G? The military, to be precise. Worked. Top secret installation dedicated to paranormal research. I'm sure you heard about the American government's experiments into the paranormal in the 70s and 80s. Project Sunstreak, and so on. <laughs> Some of us were still biting the heads off our G.I. Joes back then, buddy. Well, there wasn't a lot of mileage in clairvoyant espionage. Sunstreak was, frankly, a waste of time. After ten years of men sitting in rooms trying to guess the color of the enemy's underwear, they pulled the funding, gave it up for the bad idea that it was. But imagine if you had a spy you could break in anywhere, undetectable, unstoppable, who could find anything, break anything, do anything. You mean... Dun, dun, dun! A ghost spy! Exactly. What do you think the government would give for that? After everything you've seen, you find it hard to believe? No, I just thought it was blasting away in a monster movie, and it turns out all along we're just in a good old-fashioned conspiracy thriller. Damn. You know, I would have played it a lot more moody. First, we need to get to a control terminal, see the lay of the land. The doors are all auto-sealing, so let's clear the room to proceed. Take a look around. I know you're a curious man. I'm a cop. Hey, isn't that you? Yes. The breakthroughs we were making in astral science were simply breathtaking, if I say so myself. And check out those flares. I should have known the intelligence room wasn't the place to bring you. You see the woman beside me? Um, Wait a second. Yes, there. Uh-huh. That's Kate Heller. Okay. A brilliant scientist. And she was the real astral traveler. I think this must be the last film of her. A couple of days later, we undertook the experiment which led to her accident. Her body left all but lifeless, her spirit trapped in the astral form you know so well. She fused with me just as she's now fused with you. Our goal then was to recombine her body and spirit, but at the same time, we were making brilliant progress in our work. So the accident was the real start of ghost hunting. I bet you were king of the base. I... I was promoted. <sighs> Screw the promotion. Promotion's for the likes of me. All this stuff should get you some sort of a Nobel Prize. Hey, yeah, all that free publicity is just what a secret base is looking for. But seriously... Lazarus, some of my work, or the way they were planning to use it, I, I wouldn't choose to dine out on. Hey, what are these things? There were all sorts of specialist departments about the base. See here, um, one group was working on what they called the Zero Bomb. Not trapping ghosts, but totally obliterating them. We must get going now, but here, Lazarus, uh, this is what I wanted you to see. They never thought I could access this, and it's why I had to leave the base. What started out as no more than an interesting specimen grew to become... King of the base, as you'd say. He made the military leaders an offer. Gentlemen, you will never achieve your goals as things stand. The professor is merely competent, incapable of the ultimate prize. Why? Because he is a weak man, a civilian. He has too many scruples. Grant me the body of Kate Heller. Grant me the right to properly exploit Professor Richmond. All on my own terms, and I will deliver domination of your enemies for all eternity. I will be your night protector. How well do you know the military, Lazarus? It would have been the end of Kate Heller, and who knows what they had in store for me. So you scooted with the body of Miss Heller? Became Professor Brooke of Montsay High. And Ghost Hunter. Let's go to work. at all. Face it, we're trapped. If we could override the computer? Don't look at me. Now wait a minute. What about our computer buddy? Maybe he can help. Indeed, I could, Officer Jones. It is a risk, but entirely necessary. Try to download me into the computer terminal. I may be able to override the lock system. I guess it's our only option.
Thank you, Professor. And since I always keep my word, get out while you still can. Why, Richmond? A necessary subterfuge on my part, I'm afraid. Say that again and look me in the eyes. Betrayal. My own final sensation. A hollow, unsatisfying fury I found. Allow me to add a sprinkling of humiliation. It's not even you I'm after. Dead. Goodbye, Professor. It has been 
disappointed. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! This is what it has all been about, Lazarus. The resurrection machine, at last. There's Astro, look! Hey! You see there? That is Kate Heller. What's this thing do? Step inside and I'll tell you. The world is full of ghosts, Lazarus. Every man that is killed before his allotted time becomes one. No moving on into the next life, and they, or should I say you, simply wander forever watching human life progress, unable to intervene, a frustrating existence. The professor learned that some extremely powerful spirits were capable of intervening in human affairs. And with those he encountered, the intervention was nearly always malevolent. He also suspected that a process of decay could be traced. His theory was that after a period spanning centuries of human existence, all ghosts diminished to nine sentient monsters. Put simply, they stopped existing. You see, he came across none from truly ancient times. From all this, you will appreciate the importance attached to this machine. Its purpose is to return a ghost to a living, human form. It's my vote. Never mind centuries, I've already had one haunting. It would appear that Astral is crucial to the machine's operation. I cannot predict the full consequences of doing so, but as you wish to live again, our only option is to use the machine. Perhaps reversal of everything we have fought for, but the only logical course of action. You don't hear me arguing. Let's do it!
you may want to cover your ears. You don't think he made it? I don't know what to think. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. It's, I, it's not funny. I, I don't know why I'm laughing. I was just thinking about filing my report. <sighs> oh, God. I'm not sure where to start. Don't start then. No one's gonna believe it anyway. <laughs> Tell me about it. Seriously, what do you think we should do? Pretend it never happened. It never happened. Just gotta think of a good reason for being about three days late. Make it a good excuse. You may need to use it again. You sure you're finished with all that stuff in there? Mm. Yeah, yeah, this real world would do me just fine. Homicide, carjacking, narcotics. Illegal parking, noisy neighbors, dog fouling. Hey, it's a jungle out here, partner. You know, back there, you shot me. You killed me. And your point is... Took you two shots. <laughs> I need a partner who can do the job in one. <laughs>